power to your loud air compressor. Whew, finally stopped. Well, if you want to hear a little less of this, I have something that might interest you. One. Two. Three. Four. Welcome to the D.E. Nichols channel. Autobobotto.com Introducing the already heavily used and abused, no, not too abused, Matco quarter inch 12 volt socket. They were getting rid of them. I used it for days without charging it, and I'm only down one of four lights. My first improvement that I would suggest is this button is really hard to push. You've noticed I'm starting to tear it up because I usually have to push it with a tool. Apparently I've broken it in and now I don't have that excuse anymore. But I was having a hard time pushing it without just fully mashing it where I couldn't see the lights at all. So that's an improvement for you. But it's a little louder than when I first got it. I hope that's not a bad sign. I use it constantly. And I got a really good deal on it for about 280 bucks. I don't know if the deal is still going. They're actually working on phasing them out. That's why the deal was in. I was able to get that, this, a charger, and one battery. And now the battery is really easy to use. The only thing annoying is you have to turn it over when you switch tools so you're not used to it. It does have a light. Ooh, I'm going to have to update my website. I said that when you barely push it, the light doesn't turn on. But apparently it does. That's got a simple switch back and forth. For example, if I hadn't already changed my distributor cap out, I could make a little adjustment. And I can quickly and easily destroy screws with this. This is very powerful. So I just made that worse. Put a little pressure on it, or a lot. And I'm destroying it. So yeah, I mean, I generally avoid using screws as much as possible if there's a bolt. But I find it to be very powerful, and that is a problem. So whenever I am going after a screw with this, it's, it's worthwhile to start it with a screw driver first if you don't want to twist it out like I just did. Okay, so a little bit of trouble there. Now, with this guy, when I first bought him, he didn't move naturally. And that's what I was used to doing, you know, where you can just twist it and ratchet it and actually use it as a hand tool. Because when you're first breaking off a bolt, you may not want to use the tool. It's own power. It's not designed to break things free. Once uh, you break things free, it generally works unless there's blue Loctite or something. Okay? Now, why I specifically bought this is because I knew I was wasting a lot of time on TPMS sensors. For a while, because I had to go get my air card so that I could plug in my air tool that I used TPMS sensors on before. And this is just sort of the visual example because I don't have a TPMS at my house, tire pressure monitoring system. But once I cut these loose, you may not think it's that bad here, but my friend at the shop always had to wear my earring protection. And one of the guys always complained, well, you should, if you use that tool, you should give everyone hearing protection because it tortured the whole shop. The only thing louder was an impact uh, hammer. You know, like Brian's my little nut from heck, where he had to deal with the dodge. I mean, talk about, I mean, in, impact tools that are a hammer are brilliantly loud. They're terrible. But they should be. They're, they're doing a very powerful service. Something like this from Harbor Freight. Really loud, really torturous. It gets the job done. And I still have to use it, like on calipers, on the uh, caliper brackets. The two thick, heavy bolts on caliper brackets. Those guys, if they have Loctite on them, like Chevy likes to do sometimes, I still bust this out and the, the guys were like, hey, we thought we got, we didn't have to hear that anymore. But once there's Loctite, um, this tool's been a little bit loud ever since I found blue Loctite. 
and that's when I broke this baby out because it's heavier duty. Yeah, it's loud. It doesn't have a shielded uh, mechanism. Um, highly recommend you use hearing protection. And understand, if you didn't think that was loud, try it in person. Try it at the shop where they have the air a good 30, 40 psi higher than they they your air tool are supposed to have. I mean, I can't blame them. Sometimes it takes 130 psi just to set some of the crazy things that they sell these days. Now the guys at work all use something like this by Snap-on and every time I've picked one up maybe the bout charge was low but I was always disappointed. And notice it does not take long. It's super easy to switch. I've never had the battery fall out. You just have to remember always to turn it over. It's pretty used to get used to that. So like for this bolt that does absolutely nothing. It took care of it and you know, I didn't break for the, that in advance. It came real easy. Okay. So, I mean, this has its place, and at first I wouldn't use it. But you know those crazy light bulb systems where you have to take it apart <laughs> just to get to a light bulb? This has made those jobs take minutes instead of dozens of minutes sometimes. Just because I don't have to manually twist anymore. I can just hit it with this. If you'll notice there's always destroyed metal on it because it is kind of powerful. And the run out on it's pretty bad too. That might contribute to how rough it is. Could be the bit. Let me try another bit. Not a perfect way to show it. It's not the driver that's crooked, it's the bit. I can clearly see that the driver is quite straight, so the run out's not bad, it's the bit itself that's bent. And that's always a good thing, because I just got a die, 120 degree die grinder for the second time from Harbor Freight. I bought it on a whim back when I still thought those die grinders would, were good before professionally you beat the heck out of them. And I take it out of the package, and I just want to try it out real quick to grind something at work and I put my six inch thing that shows run out like crazy and it wasn't the bit. I mean that bit's really high quality Matco a carbide tool that I'm going to use for my port and polishing and it was just flapping flapping flapping. So now when I got excited about buying this I really looked forward to no longer having to go run and go grab air. I no longer had to go run over and find where my headset was to protect my ears. I don't want to have people whining at me. These are all good things, but the big thing is, is you just grab it and you're already working. It's a third of the prep time, and if it's really hot and sweltering, your hearing, my hearing protection, oh my gosh, it sweated me to death. And that's the other true reason why I'm always wearing my safety glasses, always. Because I'm glad the work provided them, when you've got regular glasses and you put those clamping hearing protection on because the, the plug-in ones don't work very well for me I just they destroyed my glasses putting those on all day I mean not all day but every time I use my loud tools from Harbor Freight I mean where did I save money when I have to go buy new glasses just to have an option to wear something other than safety I mean I'm always getting under a car hood so it's not that big of a deal but Sometimes it might be nice to have something that's a little lighter, you know, when I'm off, off work, so. So with the exception of, of last week running to Blue Light GM, oh my gosh, that hurt my ears. <laughs> Even in an instant, you, you want your hearing protection. You know, I was able to do a complete brake job with this, and the only thing that I, I don't do with this, because you do need to respect it because it is the quarter inch, I mean, there's a... A guy that stopped by the Matco tool truck one day, he had a, a 3.8 that he'd used for six years on one battery. And he still has good life on the battery. Anyway, I only have the quarter inch. He has the 3.8. So when I bust out brakes, I tend to take a long breaker bar to break those two bolts that are really high torque. And after that, this takes it so easy. Um, all the brakes I can just do with this when I re-tighten it up for like say the, the caliper pin slides 
this will tighten it and then I can fill it in to the 20 or 30 foot pounds that you usually need on most cards. That's why I like it. I can feel how tightened I have it. I'm not doing TPMS like the guys with a tool like this, I can't feel it. Now, Matco does sell one that you can adjust how powerful it is, and maybe I need that because I'm trigger happy. Oh, look, there's a little capacitance, there's a little light left, even though there's no battery in it. Just an instant. Anyway, I'm like a squirrel out here, like the squirrels climbing the trees, uh, bouncing around. Uh, so maybe it would be advantageous to have the one that, that controls it, but it does have a variable trigger. That's very nice. This is either on or off. It's either on or off. There's no in-between. Okay. This has variable. Now the snap-on ones, when they, when they change their variableness, my buddy says he knows exactly how much he wants it, what number he sets it on, and he just goes until it stops and he feels like he's always got it but I'm always paranoid I trust my hands it's kinda like uh, torquing these bolts down everyone's paranoid about that we all torque them always at the shop always but you know there's so many things that once you've used a torque gun enough that are basic things like this is supposed to be like seven foot pounds if it was a TPMS I can just hand it in now, you might feel a little surprised when it's brand new because you won't be able to turn it because it's built so tight. But once I broke it in, I was able to ratchet away. And I was very upset when I thought it didn't ratchet. But just give it a few days of use and you'll be ratcheting away. Now, I have been very gentle on it, and yet still the paint's going pretty fast. So I'm not too uh, loving that. But you know. A tool's not doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to work. And this has really been good to me and that other guy who's had it for six years. Um, um yeah, actually, um, mm -hmm. hey, hey, you're taking Abby, you, so did you get this last month? About a thousand. Uh, this last month you got about a thousand views. Yeah, it's, it's triple what I was getting before. Oh. Hey, yeah. Aurora, what do you think about your YouTube family telling you happy birthday? I love Something my like birthday that. very much. I like my birthday every one that my birthday out there in my oven. Okay. And I love my birthday. Mr. I have no shirt. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Fair enough. You want to look at your gifts right now? Yeah. All right, my princess.